So it's nice shave bowl. Same one as yesterday. This awesome extra large Roger Quintero design bowl. You can get the 3D printable instructions or a link to them in the description of this video. Um, he provided it to me free of charge as a gift. Pretty cool. Help him design it a little bit, but almost all of it is it's the large majority is his work, so that's awesome. Uh, we continue on with the Nasset Marathon, and there's that one little dot under the N, and that is 121 uses. So today is 122. The little envelope here is starting to yellow. So now I'm going to put that in my uh, no surprise here, my car of Christopher Bradley razor, and this has the three and a half inch handle. The three and a quarter inch is kind of a new one that he's had out for a couple months now. Uh, he didn't have that when I first got it. I like the balance though. I'm glad that fell right in a bunch of uh, samples in a basket. Um, the uh, I'm glad that this came out when it did because the balance for me just puts it right where I want to hold it. It may look visually a little longer than I might like, but who cares? I like the balance. And uh, I'm using, you might notice, here's the top plate that's been with this razor since the beginning. And then here's the bottom plate. It's a different shade because the patina has been uh, working and on the top plate. But this bottom plate is new. It is a an F plate. It's his uh, most aggressive one. Um, I can't shave with the E plate with a young blade. And so why do I have the F plate? Because I have an old blade. The E worked okay with uh, the old Nasset at a certain point. I don't know, maybe 90 uses. I can't remember. So let's load it up and see if the F, see what the F, all right? Okay, so I've got the, uh, and the, these posts that are on the uh, top cap here serve to keep the blade perfectly aligned every single time. Just don't have to worry about it at all. 100% brass. It's bead blasted. So it's a little bit different than like a polished brass. You can polish it if you are a DIY guy and you want to take care of that. All right. I love the way that uh, maybe one of my the reasons I like it so much is that the bottom support for the uh, the bottom plate here goes all the way almost in this plate almost as far as the top cap does and so the both the top and the bottom grab the blade and hold it firmly so close to the edge that it gives you a nice nice consistent shave the soap base is wonderful today reef point they have closed their doors over the last several months um, and uh, but I their lather is tremendous um, I really appreciated them I have several of their scents because they they just hit them in many cases hit them right where I uh, where I like to have them and usually the strength is reasonable so this is my first time trying their sandalwood I just got it in it's got a little bit of been busted up a little bit but should be all right I'm a big sandalwood fan the scent from the puck is very kind of woody and which is right on target for what I like to enjoy when I have a sandalwood. Obviously it's been swirled some and scooped some. And what am I going to swirl it with? I have had this uh, soaking for about 10 minutes. This is the uh, 1250 from Samog. So we will shake it out. I'm going to throw some water on my face. And now we're ready to go with that. Less than 24 hours since my shave last, maybe 22, maybe even 20. All right, let's do a 40 second load because it looks like this soap hasn't been loaded in a while. So let's, oh, there's 40 right there. So um, all we have to go is 20 to on the next minute. Oh, it's, it's stirring something up pretty quickly. So maybe 30 seconds, but hey, we'll just go until 20, like I said. Love a good sandalwood. 
their base is really slick, very enjoyable. I don't know if it was just marketing, you know, they just somehow didn't find a, a good word of mouth campaign or something like that. Because their base is so slick and enjoyable that I um, could definitely, I could easily, I mean, I'd be happy if I had only Reef Point soaps for the rest of my life. They're, they're that good to me. Uh, rinsed out the threads on that soap tub. Easiest to clean it right now. I think we're ready to go with lathering, building, building the lather. My bowl is pretty big. It's mainly because I like to build all three passes. Actually, usually I like to build four passes. But I, I like to have all that done before I start shaving. So if you have a small bowl, then you need to have somewhere for that lather to go while you mix the other part of the lather. This is, oh man, it's so thick right now. It's just crazy. You can see the viscosity is just so thick and rich right now. Okay, unfortunately I don't have my medicine dropper. So I am relegated to dribbling in water from various sources. Oh, that's good. I like that. Hopefully it'll be strong enough. I've had a couple of reef point soaps that just, uh, we're kind of low strength. So I'll pass those on. There are definitely people out there who like the lower strength scents. Sometimes it's their own preferences. Sometimes it's because of sensitivities with uh, fragrance oils and things like that. Let's add a little bit more. a beautiful lather still quite thick so we'll keep adding water um, so now with this use all these six or so bore brushes that I'm cycling through they all now have six uses after this one this one I'll five now and then six when we're done let's go ahead and add a little bit more And I tell you what, all of the Samoog brushes that I've um, and that are in this cycle, this 1250, and 1800, and a 1305, all are at this point very comfortable to use. And the only thing I did was soak them for an hour or two before each shave. And then, of course, because of the um, amount of brushes I'm cycling through, there was enough time for them to completely dry between shaves. The sterling board that I have is still kind of scratchy, very scrubby. That's okay. I mean, just six uses. Obviously, he's going to take more than more than that before he starts to break in. The Omega One Zero Zero Nine Eight that I have is also another one that's a little uh, scrubby, not soft yet. But I love that nice long handle, so that'll be interesting to see when he finally wakes up and gets comfy. But the Zenith B10 is, uh, like the Samogs, very comfortable to use even now. Really like that. 
uh, brush. And the great thing is, these Samogs and that Zenith, they're very inexpensive. 15 bucks, 12 bucks, that's what we're talking about here. Pretty cool. And in just a few uses, you can have something that's really comfortable for you. Um, and if you never are able to afford a, a Badger brush, then they are very comfortable, very nice. And uh, you should not be sad about that at all. Uh, the good news is synthetics are cheap. Nowadays they're even they're better than they used to be, and so um, they are like fifteen dollars and that sort of thing now. So they're an option, but they're almost all of them are a little too springy for me. Too much backbone, shove my skin around, that sort of thing. Okay, little uh, finger test here. I get some pretty good cushion when I try to squeeze, but I easily feel my uh, the ridges in my fingerprints. So let's go ahead and shave with it. I still may need to add some water to it, um, and that's that's okay. I'll show you what it looks like here. Kind of the viscosity of it. I'll bet it just needs more water, but I don't really feel like uh, pushing it for. Uh, let's add a little bit more. A little bit more. I can always also add more water on my face between passes to help it out. All right. Brush rest. Face rinse. Ah, not really a rinse, just a splash of water. Okay. 1560. Oh, nice and comfortable bristles. It's definitely not as soft as like the 1305, maybe the 1800. I think it has uh, the bristles that it has are not quite as premium as those, but that's all right. Sometimes those are then the brushes that give you good scrub if that's what you're going for. And of course, it's going to get even softer than this as those tips split. Yeah, this feels like a good lather. Yep, looks pretty good in terms of water. So just lay down a nice kind of even but thin coat. There we go. Let's see what this F does. For a young blade, I am probably never going to be able to use the F. What would be interesting is if I could use the, not use really the E, but I could use the F because of some weird quirk of geometry. But who knows? Probably won't be that way. All right. Very aggressive. The most aggressive blade gap that Carve offers right now. Let's just see if it works with my NASA. Well, it's kind of being nice so far. I am getting a little bit of light pulling, but not too bad. With this level of exposure, I may want to be careful not to um, go over areas more than once, you know. 
neck skin is more tender so if I have any issues it'll likely be in my neck area feels like a lot of blade exposure If you do have a razor that's kind of, uh, you just feel the blade a lot, a couple things you can do, change your handle angle, you can ride the cap, meaning more of the cap is touching your skin because you've lifted the handle away from your skin. You can ride the guard or the base plate by bringing the handle closer into your skin so that less of the top cap touches and sometimes that puts the blade in a, in a better place for you. All right, I'll take that. And let me rinse. All right, I am, uh, the sandalwood scent is nicely available to me as I'm using the soap. Not super strong while I'm shaving, but as I'm moving around, I'm getting nice whiffs of it. It's a, to me, it's a nice authentic woody sandalwood. They didn't bring in tons of weird stuff to, Try to turn it into something else and I don't mind if you want to do that just maybe call it something different other than sandalwood if you can't there's so many sandalwoods out there that you can't discern any sandalwood in there and so that as a purist I want to go buy a tub of sandalwood and have the sandalwood be there so this is nice and authentic and like that uh, a dry kiln uh, wood scent that's what's there. Very enjoyable to me. Nice, soft lather. And of course, in this painting motion, these, these brush tips are just great. All right. So let's see how the F does on the second pass. Sometimes angles don't matter nearly as much with aggressive razors because their little range of acceptable uh, handle angles is fairly large because of the amount of exposure. Meaning that this blade is sticking out between the top cap and the base plate more than others. And that makes it easier to cut hair. So we'll see what kind of shave I get. Feels like it feels more stable than the timeless that I had yesterday, which was an open comb 6.8. Uh, I feel like I'm less, a little less likely to cut myself than that one. Maybe the solid bar is helping me to have a little bit more predictability and confidence in it. And let's rinse this second pass off. Okay, first I want to say that one of the advantages of an aggressive razor, if you can handle that type of aggression, is sometimes you can walk away after two passes. Uh, and I could walk away right now, depending on the kind of job I had. If I was under a lot of scrutiny, I probably would want to go ahead and do the third pass. But if it was just kind of a general, uh, if it wasn't that kind of level of scrutiny, then I could definitely easily walk away right now and have a comfortable shave. It's a close shave, uh, a few little you know, stray hairs in the trouble spot area, but my cheeks feel great. And that's just two passes. I did take away any of the extra water on my face. I believe that my lather would, uh, is wet enough without that. Got plenty of lather. Oh yeah, that woody scent is just coming up to me. I really like this. And this is a, I'm glad I have this nice soft brush and not like the, uh, 
that omega one zero zero nine eight because it could give me some brush burn where this one's kinder to my face this one or the other smogs that I've quoted you the 1800 the 1305 they're nice and soft yeah good lather so let's see how this F does on the last pass a little bit of skin stretching just by lifting up my chin I'm not using my hand here to pull down or anything like that when I'm in my neck area as with, as with so many of us there's just lots of curvature there and so most time I will use a, a shorter stroke and that helps me to adjust more quickly to the changing contours and a light a light stroke as well just for grins I'm going to take a little touch up right there and come from uh, this is the angle the hair's growing and I came from the top net uh, just now let's come from the bottom and I bet I can really take care of some of these troublemakers give me such headache because I'll have this awesome shave those guys will still be there bothering me. I can't go against the grain on my neck. I'm kind of glad because if I did, I might not be able to shave every day in that area. I just enjoy it. Very nice. There we go. Rinse. That's a pretty good shave. The Sheraton probably gives me maybe a little better shave more comfortably. So don't think I'll be switching to the uh, Christopher Bradley razor as my marathon uh, razor at this juncture, at this high level. But it was fun to try out and it did work. How about that? I'm going to go with the original Nivea. It's a balm, but it has a little bit of alcohol in it. So it can help to antiseptic things and it can ding me with uh, any problems in my technique with just a little bit of sting. Haven't gotten any yet. Very cool. And I've got oily skin, so the alcohol in the balm really helps to calm that down as well. Hold it at bay a little bit. So I am super happy with all this stuff I just knocked over into the sink with this soap. And then I was able to get it off the used market. Three point sandalwood. I mean, the great thing is a company like Reef Point. Uh, is not able to, you know, keep going. And so some people, sometimes people scramble around and get those soaps. Uh, but we've got so many great vendors out there that are putting out some really, really, really good soaps. Um, you know, and so that's, it's, we're, we'll be all right. Um, but I'm a big sandalwood fan and there are not a whole lot of uh, sandalwoods like this running around that are a great base as well as a nice authentic sandalwood scent. So thank you, Reef Point for uh, putting out the sandal wood. And I'm very blessed to be able to grab a hold of something before it was, before it gets much more difficult to obtain. All right. And you know what, from last night, I used this and it was, I got annoyed with the fragrance after a while and I wish I had used less. So I'm gonna try using less and see if it's still annoying. The good news is if I have to pitch it, it's less than $2. Walmart so I'll be all right 
Uh, let's see. Let's look at how much soap I have left over. Oh, this is a fabulous, fabulous lather. Two, maybe three passes left over. You know, that's about right. I did it for 40 seconds, so I definitely, I think, could have backed it off to 30 and been just fine. And that might have been the right quantity to have a little bit extra, you know. Uh, unfortunately, can't report on how much water I used because of uh, the incident of leaving the, my little uh, syringe at home. Uh, I've already done my balm. So I think we're good. I'm going to clean up. I'll be right back. Just finished stropping the brush. Samog 1250. And he's gradually opening up. This one really does feel like a firm broom whenever it's dry. It uh, is crazy. You're like, I'm going to shave myself with that. But then, as you can see, it is much softer when those hairs absorb the water and get all loose. So, happy with this little guy. I think that tomorrow it'll be time to switch back to the Sheraton and get more comfortable. Uh, so now, here we've got 122 shaves with the Nasset. And the uh, F-plate, I had to be careful with it. There's the business end with the X and all that. I had to be careful with the F. I definitely feel like I could have given myself razor burn if I wasn't careful. Probably could have cut myself a, a little bit. But uh, I do have a little bit of redness here, but I kind of get that any time. I don't feel any irritation. There are definitely some red spots where I usually don't have any, uh, but I don't feel them right now. And so um, I could use this razor if I wanted to, but I think I'll switch back to the smoothness of the, uh, the Sheraton. It just has the right geometry for my face and my hair type uh, for this age blade and where it is right now. So in terms of the strength of this particular soap, the scent strength, I would rate it as maybe a 4 or 5 out of 10, and so that makes me very happy. It was enjoyable at different points during the shave, uh, and so it was, it was a part of the experience in a good way. So I'm happy, very happy about that. And it's just, to me at least, it seems to be a straight up woody sandalwood, and I really appreciate that. I don't really care if it's the exact pure essential oil of sandalwood, because that's very expensive. If they have a synthetic that works really well, it's fine with me. I don't care. It just smells good. I don't need it to last a long time. Just need it to last during my shave. Because my wife didn't really like sandalwood scent anyway. So I definitely think I'll be turning turning back to the Sheraton uh, tomorrow. Turning back to comfort. It just wields this blade very nicely. The uh, Christopher Bradley razor. I will try, for the sake of science, the F-plate on a younger blade, and I will be very careful, and we'll see how it goes. I don't expect it to work very well. I expect it to be just too aggressive for me, but we'll try it. Who knows? Because um, the E is when I have a young blade. I uh, enjoyed this brush. Now, you can tell this brush has, it doesn't quite have those premium fibers like some of the other ones do that I've played around with. But here's the thing, when the splay opens up more because of the break-in and age, uh, sometimes you want those uh, stronger fibers to have a little bit more backbone so that it, it concentrates the brush a little bit more instead of letting it splay all the way out and be kind of floppy. And so while it may, I may enjoy the comfort of the premium grade hairs in the 1800 and the, uh, I believe, the 1305, I may appreciate those that softness now. I may really appreciate this brush with a slightly lower grade hair uh, in nine months or so, when those other ones may be so soft that there's not really hanging around at my face because they're opening up so much. The, uh, the stiffer bristles aren't going to do that, so they're going to be in there touching my face and being all soft and helpful. I could foresee that happening. So, and that's part of the part of the reason why I bought a few of the different brushes so that I could 
eventually watch and see how they would behave. Uh, told you how awesome that I thought this sandalwood was. Covered that. Uh, the Nasset does not show any sign of stopping. I'm going to go from uh, 120 uh, a couple days ago to I'm going to go to 130 before I stop. Uh, in terms of consecutively, who knows? I may go another 10 after that. I don't know. I may stop and go play around with some uh, more mild razors, uh, which I can't do with the Nasset. But, uh, but I definitely am going to consecutively do uh, eight more shaves to get to 130. Um, I think we're good. I think that's all the products that I wanted to, to, to mention. I hope there was something here for you in this shave. This is Sugar Daddy Shaves. Take care. Time to head bed. Good night.